Hi, this is a transformer I bought the other day off eBay and it's uh, 220, 240 volts um, and the output is 12 volts, 30 amp and this is to power my um, portable diesel heater that I'm working on at the moment and that'll be in another video. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to wire this up and some people say, oh, not stupid, but I didn't say anybody was stupid. I how I'm going to wire mine up. So my mains is going in here. And my output for my devices are here but i want to do two ways not to wire this up i want a, a battery so i want to wire my diesel portable heater up via a battery and the mains as well so when i'm at home in the gym or at home anywhere and i warm up a van or anything like that i'll plug it into the mains and um, when we're mobile i'll use a battery so quite a nice bit of kit comes quite small i'm going to find some screws that fit these so I can mount it either inside or on the outside possibly on the inside of the diesel heater case like I said you'll see that in another video quite good nicely made it weren't expensive I think it's about 15 quid I'll put a link in the description down below um, but I'm going to wire this up now I'm going to show you how I do it how I do it so I've got a three core flexi cable which we've got spare um, I want to solder the end of mine. Um, I just like to. I don't know if anybody has got any preferences about that. I do not know. If you have, let me know in the description down below. So I'm just going to peel the skin back gently. Don't want to go too deep. It should just bend it like so. And then eventually it will get through. And I'm going to solder the ends of mine with a bit of solder, like I said. Okay. There we go. And now I'll trim the ends of these. These are some snips, just carefully. Don't go too hard because you'll so just put a little bit of pressure on it and I just push with my thumb. Sometimes it doesn't go, sometimes it does. There we go. Live is brown, blue is negative, and green and yellow is earth. I'm not being funny or sarcastic, that's the way. So just gonna a little bit of a twist on these, not too much because I want the solder to take. That's it. Sorry, you can't see that. So, right. So, just pop this like so. Spread them apart. It's not the best. Well, it's it's a very good soldier line, but it's a bit. It's a bit. Awkward, I've got to admit. So. Oh, that's my phone. Two seconds. So, just get it nice and hot and then spread it along. You can always trim these afterwards anyway. Like, it's a good soldier knife, but it's very it's accurate. So, it hasn't got a lot of heat in one sort of particular area, if you see what I mean. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'll carry on with the rest. You don't want to see that. It's boring. And that's the last one. Good on the end. There we go. Get the drips off. That's it. Right. I'll just trim these. Okay, just trimmed the ends, tied up a little bit. And what I'll do as well, when I make this either in the diesel heater casing or whatever, I want I will secure this as well to the case. I'll have a little bit of bracket around here and I'll screw that so you can't be pulled out. Okay, so if you look at the end, if you can see that, we get really close. So we've got, pull that down, live, neutral and earth. So in that, the way it's going to go. Live, neutral, and earth. Okay, so 
they are just they're just sliding so you can undo them I'll show you that as well so slide him in nice and snug fit Oop. Earth or ground, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Just so you can see. Nice and tight. Give it a good yank, goes back down, and then if you look at the rest of it, then you've got here, you've got your negative voltage and your positive, so it'd be your black and your red, in theory, which it usually is on wiring, uh, and then you've got like three terminals of each, so you can wire three devices in theory, so you could have, I don't know if you could have three diesel heaters running from it, depends on how much current they pull. But you could have a light, so you could put your diesel heater on um, negative positive on the on these two or whatever two you want. It doesn't really matter. And then from that you could have like a small light running it, so you got so you can see. Um, and anything else really, as long as it doesn't over, so you so you're not exceeding 30 amps. So cooling fan on the top. And then what I've got now, if you I'll show you, I've got quite a bit of this extension. So I can modify this if I want on the length that I require, or even if I need it longer, I can get an extension. In, but that's what I've got. I've got quite a bit. Let me just zoom out. There you go. So how to wire a transformer? ready for the diesel heater oh at the side as well i'll just sort of show you that that is it's set on 220 to well, we're 240 over here but 220 volts for the uk and i think it's america and most other places it's 110. Um, i do presume that these are at the side mounting screw holes so and at the bottom you've got four there and the other side as well you've got two so there you go. Actually, we'll plug it in. See if it goes pop. There we have the lights come on. And yeah, this is a variable uh, homes. I think you've got a, an adjustment. You get a little bit of a paper with it, which is okay. And you've got a plus or minus, I believe, um, homes you, by ten by ten homes. But I don't know if anybody's going to be using that. I do not know. I don't know a lot about it. Well, I know I'm wiring it up. Okay. So, yeah. See if the fan's working. Yep, fan's working. So it's blowing air out. So it's cooling, I presume. Yep, blowing air out. There we go. So, eBay. I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, and this is to power my diesel portable heater. Thanks for watching. Take care. Catch you in the next vid.